Oh, they're going straight on. We are trying to design a tuning machine that will accept a string, a string of strings in effect, uh, separated by uh, hash signs. Uh, the strings are just random binary strings. And we're, we're to show, um, we're, we're to design a machine that will accept uh, a string, the, the string of strings, if uh, all the, if the individual strings uh, that are separated by hash signs, if they're all different. Okay. And we talked a little bit before about the global strategy, as uh, you look at the first string and compare it with the second and the third and the fourth and so on. And then you look at the second string and compare it with the third and the fourth and the fifth and so on. Uh, so that's the global strategy. Now, now uh, you know, it's high level. Now, now we, we come down a bit and we're starting to uh, think about how to implement that. And so, you know, it's, it's top-down top design. So one idea is uh, you can use markets, special markets. So you go looking, you go looking for your, the hashes because the hashes, they, they delimit, they, sh they indicate the beginning, where the beginning and the end of a string, a uh, string, you know, just one of the random binary strings is in your string of strings. So, uh, have, have your, you know, move the head is in such a way that it, it, uh, it puts special markers at the string that you're using uh, be careful here that the, the, I, guess, I guess that the string that you're comparing uh, maybe you know, what I'm doing in quasi real time is not quite the same here, I'm not sure uh, but you know, it's, it's one way of doing things. And you may come up with a different way. Uh, you know, there are many ways to skin a cat, uh, an expression in English. Uh, you know, there can be many ways to do, to solve a particular problem. Uh, so one, one, one way might be um, you're trying to You're trying to compare a particular string with with others. Now, which other which other one? So, uh, label it in a sense. Uh, put put a special symbol at the beginning of that string and at the end of it, and then compare the string that you're talking about with uh, with that uh, with that label. But then, how do you know when you go back when you how do you know where the, the string... Let, let's say you're comparing two strings, A and B. So, I suppose, I suppose common sense would say, you put a marker at the beginning of string A, and you have another one at, at string B. And then uh, you, you compare and we've done that before, comparing two strings. So we know how to do that. So you compare string A with string B. And I say, you know, say it's successful. Uh, well, then you move the marker of string B to the next string. So it'd be like string B plus one, if you like. And then you compare A, and you know where A is because it, it's got a marker. And so you'll have, throughout your string, you'll have two, two of the hash marks overwritten by two special markers, I, I guess. I guess that's what's being said, you know, sort of intuitively. Um, and so, as you compare string A with B, and if it's successful, then uh, you take B's marker, you know, you restore it to hash, and then you uh, change the marker on the next string, B, B plus one, if you like. Uh, so its marker on the left, the left of uh, you know, the hash on the left. Uh, you would make that a special marker, and then you you compare uh, the contents of string A with the contents of string B plus one, and so on, until you get to the end, 
and then uh, you scan back to, to your string A you restore the marker uh, that's to the left of string A you, you restore that back to hash and then you move right to the next marker and then you change that marker you, know, you, you modify it and so now, now you're comparing string A plus 1 in a sense with all the others Okay, and uh, so that that would that that kind of strategy would work, right? Uh, so you're now you're now at a sort of slightly lower level. So you you know, you top down design, and uh, yeah, that's 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 what you know what's I think is <laughs> what's uh, being said here, um, more or less, right? Um, so if uh, well, we go into a bit more detail. Let's let's let's, let's go through it. Um, right. So, if the very first if the very first symbol is a blank, uh, except right, because uh, that's okay. It's, that's there's only one string, and it's different from anything else because there isn't it isn't is not anything else. So, if if if, if your very first square is just blank, uh, except right. So, put you know, this is like a, a fringe case, a special case. Uh, now, if the symbol was uh, uh, a hash, well, that means you're uh, you're continuing as usual. And if it's not a blank and it's not a hash, uh, reject, right? Because um, the specification of your string is the first symbol. If it's if it's not a blank, if it's not an uh, well, yeah, it's not a blank. Uh, it has to be a, a hash, a hash symbol. Okay, that, that's that's in the specification of the strings in the language. So if it's not a blank and it's not a hash, well, reject immediately. So, okay. Uh, okay. Now stage two. So you. Uh, okay. So so that means that what you know you're not rejecting and I'm assuming it's not a blank. So it was a hash. That's your first hash. Okay. So you scan you scan to the next hash. So that means you're now at the the next hash. So the first time we go through, so that, that's now the right hand uh, it's, it's the symbol at the right hand end of the first string, the first line of string. Okay? And you put a second mark on, on top of that second hash, right? Uh, okay. Now what? So if there's no hash encounter before a blank, oh, this is sort of a, another fringe case. So you go scanning for the second hash, but say you get a blank before uh, that hash, and it's only the first time you're, you're through it, uh, then uh, you only have one string, x ones. There was, there was only one, uh, one x. But remember on the right hand side, there's no, the very right hand symbol is not a hash, it's just the last the last uh, binary symbol of your last string. So, uh, so if you get a blank before uh, the first time you go through, uh, before you get a hash, uh, well, then that was a string. There's only one string, so it has to be different. So, you, so you accept. Okay. Now, say there is a, a second uh, hash. So that means that there are at least two strings. Okay. Um, binary strings. So now what do you do? Okay, now now you go back like to an earlier example where you're comparing two strings. So you this what, what Sips is called zigzag, uh, uh, commuting uh, back and forth, back and forth. Right, you compare the two strings uh, to the right, to the right of the two. Mar yeah, yeah. So that's sort of what I was saying. I think to the right of the two marked marked hashes. Uh, so the hashes, the hash symbols have been changed somewhat, and we'll talk about that in a minute. Okay, so you compare the two um, strings uh, to the right of the two marked or modified uh, hash signs, hash symbols. Okay, now if they're equal, reject, right? Because you, you, the whole point of the exercise is you're trying to show all the strings are different from each other. So if any two, any two are the same. Reject. Okay, so venture the same reject. Okay, phase, uh, stage four. 
Um, now, so, okay, so you assume they're different, so you haven't rejected, so you move on to stage four. Now, now what are we doing? Move the rightmost of the two marks to the next, yeah, that's, that's what I was suggesting, um, to the next uh, hash symbol and mark it. Uh, you know, to, you know, to the next one to the right and mark it. Um, right. So if you don't, if you don't, so if you're now at the end, so if this second one's sort of at the end now, so if there's no hash symbol uh, before you get to a blank, now now move your leftmost marked symbol to the next to the next hash. Yeah, to its right, and and so on. Okay, you just you just keep doing that. Um, now, eventually, if uh, there's no hash uh, to to the right, um, then eventually, you know, all strings all strings have been compared, and uh, if you get to that stage, then then you know they're all different, and so accept. Uh, if 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 uh, if there is a here, then go back to stage three. You, so you're in this loop. Um, so I can sort of try and picture it visually. So uh, here's, here's your string A you're comparing. And here, let's say, here's string B. So you compare and say they're different.